Okay, so the first thing we'll want to do is to make sure our YouTube account is set up for live streaming. Uh, if you haven't created a page for your organization, you'll want to go ahead and do that. So to do that, you can click this icon right here. If you haven't created one, you, it'll give you instructions on how to do so. Or if you have an account already, you can add yourself as a manager. If you click the little gear icon, that'll take you to settings. And then you'll see this link that says add or remove managers. Uh, that will let you switch between your account that you use for personal YouTube stuff and your organizations. Uh, when you click that link, it's going to take you to the Google Plus manager page. Yes, I know it's Google Plus, but um, if you're the owner of the page, you can add or delete managers at any time, and that will give your team members the ability to um, add videos, remove videos, and otherwise manage your YouTube page. Uh, once you do that, we can go back to YouTube. Um, like I said, it's going to let you switch between uh, context. So once you do that, you're going to go back to YouTube settings by clicking the gear icon. It should be up here. And then you're going to go to view additional features. Uh, this will be at the bottom of the screen. It's kind of hidden. Once you do that, it's going to give you a list of all the features that you can do with YouTube. Um, if you scroll down towards the bottom, you're going to click Enable for Live Events. Now, if you don't see the Enable button there, you may want to scroll up and make sure that you have a verified account. Um, what verification means is that you've given YouTube your mobile number, it sends you a text, you enter the code back in, and YouTube realizes that you're a real user. Uh, once you've done that, the um, Live Events button should be enabled. Um, now, if you've uploaded a bunch of copyrighted videos, it may not let you be verified uh, just because it gets cranky. But otherwise, click the Enable, and then you should be able to do live events.